welcome to Love Them Knives Channel, LTK here. Well, we finally landed on the Quartermaster Square on the knife world. It's like, I'll take Quartermaster for $200. And the question is, what is it? It is a titanium frame lock knife. And it has got the limo tint. That's what they're calling it. It's all black. I think you probably figured that one out. But this one here is out of focus. Come on, baby. Come on in. There you go. It's a numbered edition of 300. USA made. We'll talk about that. Um, frame lock, about 35% lock up on there. Pocket clip, right hand, left hand, tip up. Big, thick uh, blade stock though. Really nice. Let me show you a little bit of information on this. Quartermaster, Mr. Roper Eviction. Frame lock, 3.6 inch. And notice the QSE 5ZLT. And well, let's look in the box here. So this one is, like I said, a numbered edition. So here you go. The 5ZLT, QSE 5ZLT, 3.6 of 17 when this was issued, 217 to 300. Okay. Don't expect it. Prepare for it. So this has, you know, it's got a sticker in the box and this and that. Shiny top. That's kind of what you get. And obviously they sell for around $200. This one, the numbered edition, might be worth a little bit more. Since it's a numbered edition, 8.6 inch uh, overall. 3.625. Blade length, probably cutting edge, 3.375. Two uh, tenths of an inch. Yeah, thick blade stock. CPMS 35VN, clip point, flat grind, black, plain, five inch handle, half inch uh, overall thickness, 5.5 ounces. So eviction is equipped with a thicker blade. Really? That is pretty thick. That's thick. And there you go. Flipper tab. Pivot system is the ORB. And like they say, limo tent, dark, ceramic pivot, lock bar insert, over travel. And there you go. You know, there's, well, you can see that there are other iterations of can be Mr. Roper, can be Mr. Roper eviction, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, uh, Tanto, uh, or regular blade, like they said right here, clip point. And this one being a clip point blade, it's really dark. It's really hard to get in the light. Interesting. I mean, I've seen Quartermaster knives online a million times and some of them are pretty crazy looking some of them are pretty big and i've almost pulled the trigger but never really did it was like that knife is so bizarre looking it's really wild and crazy and yes i need to get it and then it's almost like you know what that's almost too crazy <laughs> it's almost too crazy so this one is more tame design by them. In any case, you got some jimping here with your lock bar. Uh, can disengage really easy, real, real easy. Okay, so you got jimping on your flipper tab. Here it comes. You've got jimping on your thumb ramp up here on the blade. And, yeah, two tenths of an inch, huh? Let's figure out the millimeters on it. Oh, well, let's not go through the hole. Okay. So, 
Come on. Five millimeter. Six would be a quarter inch, you know? So that's that's a pretty good chunk of change. 12.6 uh, millimeters on the handle thickness, right at half inch. So, yeah. Yeah, three and five eighths all day long. Eight and a half overall, plus or minus a sixteenth. Uh, 21 and a half centimeters and let's say 90 millimeter blade length somewhere in there this is a very kind of i don't know standard looking type blade isn't it nothing fancy going on with the pivot at least you can go right and left hand tip up and the uh, pocket clip Really laying down there, isn't it? Staying out of the way. How's it feel in the hand? Yeah, it feels pretty good in the hand, actually. Can't really come forward here. Gives a little separation, though, for sharpening purposes. I guess you can, you can do this. Now, we've got a hole cut out here. So, <laughs> that worked really well, didn't it? Wow, okay. Let go. Um, yeah. So, yeah. You can flick it open. I'm just not... Uh, I'm not feeling it as far as flicking it. Wow, that is stiff. That's pretty stiff detent there. Ouch. Okay, well, you can gravity flip it. I guess all else uh, fails. Now, why I'm having a hard time... Flicking it is probably because I'm putting pressure on the back of this lock bar. And if I'd let go of that, but then it's it's kind of an uncomfortable way to, to have my hand. So I don't know if I like that as well. I like the flipper tab. And actually, I like just the gravity flip. Yeah. I just, this is the first quartermaster knife I've ever actually had in my hands, which is really weird because there's a bunch of them. Bunch of them out there. I'm just trying to figure out what's special about this one. I mean, it's fairly innocuous design. It's not crazy or weird or heavily stylized or anything like that. It's just a standard kind of looking, feeling knife. Although, you know, the blade design is one where you can get some piercing done. Because you've got this reinforced tip here, this swedge grind up here. And then you've got a high enough grind here where you can do some slicing. So in that regard, yeah. Let's see if it will do what a knife will do. Yes, it will. Okay. So it's sharp, at least. And you know what? I was able to, uh, I was just going to tell you. I was able to, they, they say made in the USA, so I just want to address that. Yeah, I mean, I went to Texas and I took some pictures of their uh, production facility. Here it is, yes. It's West Texas, you know, it's way, way West, like about 5,000 miles west of Amarillo. But you know, Texas, it's a big state. So there's the production facility. <laughs> Come on, man. Wes, Wes is going to hurt me, isn't he? He's one of our viewers. He's like, uh, <laughs> there's the employee meeting. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, and, um, you know, the workers that got laid off in the past, yeah, they're, they're all in the unemployment line. <laughs> okay, that's enough. That's enough. And I'll let you guys put in your comments in the comments section. Because I'm not going to go any further than that. <laughs> That's enough. That's probably enough to get me in big trouble. Yes, made in the USA. And I talked to a guy that had... Uh, <clears throat> been to China, has Chinese connections and stuff, and said, Yes, and that's way, way West Texas. <laughs> yes, they even speak a different language out there. 
So in any case, yeah, this is interesting. I mean, hey, as far as I'm concerned, if it's made in China, so are a lot of other really, really good knives. So I got no problem with that. It's just, uh, if it is, then, because uh, no, I, I looked online. I haven't seen any Texas, uh, I haven't seen any U.S., uh, you know, factory. Um, so I don't know, assembled here in the States, but I think the parts might be made in China. Just saying. It was mentioned to me a few times. Boy, is that glaring enough? Whew, stop it. Need a mirror on top of the box? Yeah, interesting though. Interesting. How heavy is it? Let's weigh it out. Because <laughs> I'll tell you what. 5.3 ounces. So, you know, it's kind of there. I don't know. This just doesn't bring the thrill factor to me. 150 grams, 5.3 ounces. You know, this is not just mm, kicking it for me. But I, you know, a lot of people, they do like this design. And it is a very functional design. Here's your Benchmade grip. It's bigger than the grip. Bigger than the grip. How about the Manix? That's bigger than the Manix. Yes, it is. How about, come here, Hollywood. The PM2. He always likes to be on camera. Yep, bigger than him, too. So it's a bigger, yeah, slightly bigger knife. Not, not just incredibly larger. But yeah, you guys are done laughing about the uh, the uh, production facilities in the U.S. <laughs> oh man, I might have to take this video down. <laughs> in any case, yes we do. We have ourselves a very functional limo tent, limited or, you know, numbered edition knife from Quartermaster. And you know what? I probably I do need to break down <laughs> and uh, and order the the crazy stuff that, uh, or at least one or two of the crazy design ones uh, that I've seen in the past. And I should have printed some of them off because they're in. I mean, creative. I mean, very creative. This is the the most tame quartermaster knife I think I've ever seen probably why it's so popular because it's not as insane as some of their styles are and it's comfortable it is comfortable i have to say that disengaging this log bar is so easy it's so easy really easy you know that is and the flipping action is great bearings are nice i mean i'm not complaining about it i'm just saying it's you know First of all, I'm not really big on blacked out blades. So right there. And second of all, you know, you're not getting a lot of uh, traction here because you have no milled surfaces or anything. So that's a little tougher. I mean, it's nice if you do some kind of stuff there. But, uh, and even from a stylistic standpoint, there's not a whole lot to talk about. But as far as just a user knife that is uh versatile okay i'll give you that i'll give you that and i'll give you this because it'll be on my next table sale it's not my knife it was sent to me by a viewer and hey scott in hawaii he goes ltk put it on your table sale Find a new owner. We're going to do it. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining me. It's been a pleasure. Because you know what we do around here. Yeah, we love them knives. So stay sharp.